What's going on? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft here on Twitch or YouTube, depending on where your viewing pleasures take you. Channel? Channel's a good one. In lieu of any sort of power in this pack. Interesting. Thousand Year Storm seems better than Regular Storm. I think it has to be Channel, right? I mean, it's just basically... It's like honorary power. It's tier 2 power. I'm going to take the Channel. <coughs> also, let's remove the Stip. Or we'll just add add com stip no stip. All right, cool. We did it. Oh wow! Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that's. I guess that's the way to to do it. Huh. I'm not sure it's a great way to do it, but also a fellows. Oh boy. Thank you. 269 fist, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh boy. I think it's gotta be library. Like Jace is strong, but library lets us uh keep this channel open. So I can play Kid Live, I was watching YouTube, but it's finals week and the kids are gone for the day. Nice. Well done. I mean, you're definitely going to take like a Lotus or a Soul Ring over both of these cards, or a, even probably Ancestral as well. Um, <clears throat> I think it's Library. Rafelos is great, but Library is pretty much irreplaceable. And draw a Tree Speaker. Oh, well, pretty good. It's also a way to draw cards in green. Yeah, we're going to take the Tree Speaker here. Gideon Jura, Ramunap Excavator, Sword of Feast and Famine, <clears throat> could be alright, Lotus Cobra, pretty good, pretty sure it's one of these two, I mean even like, playing channel for 5 to play Sword of Feast and Famine and equip is still a lot of tempo. I feel like Lotus Cobra is pretty replaceable in decks like this. I'm going to take the sword. Which is a weird pick, but I'm okay with it. Virgil Gear Hulk, probably the only green card. We're actually either being cut green or we're cutting green. It's hard to tell. <clears throat> oh, man. Not the 8 drop we're looking for. Harmonize is good, though. What if we go Harmonize, drop to 7, and then we can tap Library to draw the 8th card? Yeah, that's good. Let's do that. And now we have one, two, three, four, and five drops. It's almost perfect. I don't think I actually shook this. Oh, Sylvan Library. All right. <clears throat> yeah, we're just going to stay green right now. We have no real reason to jump ship or uh, Go a different color. Yeah, I mean, like we could have had a reanimator, but like we're we're already on channel, so I wanted to stay green. Vivian Reed, and a Findhorn Elves. I think Vivian Reed is a nice payoff planeswalker here. Oh, we do have double libraries all the way across the sky. <laughs> Mono library dot decks. <clears throat> yeah, we're taking Vivian Reed. I think Vivian Reed is less replaceable than the Elf, and uh, I get proven right by this devoted druid. Marari's Wake, surprisingly playable. 
All we need is a white source, and then we can actually just hard cast all of the things that we're going to be casting with channel anyway. You know, theoretically. I'll take your boy. Nothing great in that pack. Yeah, we're also passing the insane reanimator deck, so hopefully someone can be reanimator. Have you ever considered what your invitational card would be? No, actually I haven't. But that's a good question. I like that. <laughs> Alright, Ugin is pretty good with it with the channel, so we're probably just taking the Ugin here. If Green Sun Zenith comes back, I'll be grateful. I think it's probably better than Sundering Titan. It's hard to get rid of. You can't get rid of the creature removal, and uh, I think the effect is greater. So we're going to be hoping to turn to Ugin. Garrick Relentless. Not the Garrick we're looking for. Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger is, however, <clears throat> the Ulamog we're looking for. So that's pretty cool. Yep, that's a pretty easy pick. Yeah, that's not even... Summon Carry Out is great, which I'd probably take over Garrick Relentless because it's one of the uh, better uh, mana ramp creatures. It adds any color, it blocks very well, and it doesn't die. So, <clears throat> Natural order, we don't really have a natural order deck yet, but it's definitely good enough to just take. I mean, if, if it's natural order or Pelucranos, we're going to take the natural order. We could also take Stirring Wildwood to help cast this Marari's Wake. I think natural order is uh, significantly stronger and now we're just going to take Primeval Titan. And I'm going to feel pretty good about this this green deck so far. Oh, uh, four mana Karn. Not terrible. I mean, four mana Karn or Nissa or... I mean, Genesis Wave, if you have five green, you can play a Genesis Wave with Channel. Maybe, like, pay ten. And then you can hit all your things. It's not terrible. I mean, you only need five green, too. You don't have to have five forests, per, per se. So you can actually have Devoted Druid and Draga Tree Speaker to help out with that. <clears throat> actually, Progenitus for Natural Order is nice. Uh, my only concern with that is that we'll always have it in our hand. Nevertheless, I think it's still strong. So we'll try it out. We'll try to live the Progenitus dream. pro Uh Now we are going to take Temple Garden, because I think it's probably better than... Actually, we can discard Progenitus or, like, Ulamog if we draw them. And we don't have the other pieces. And then search for something. I think it's actually Fauna Shaman. We don't necessarily have to play Mirari's Wake. Yeah, it's probably Fauna Shaman, actually. And then we get a Savannah anyway. That's pretty nice. I do like Manglehorn better, though. <laughs> so, I just think we don't have any other... <clears throat> I mean, if we had Sylvan Carry added instead of, like, one of these, or if we had, like, Avacyn's Pilgrim... I'd be more inclined to splash the Marari's Wake because of the ease of doing so. But we don't actually have many ways to search for a white source right now other than Primeval Titan. So I'd almost rather have the Manglehorn because there are so many good artifacts and enchantments in the cube. Like things like Moat, um, Sword of Body and Mind, Sword of Fire and Ice. Even if you just kill a Mox on turn 3 or turn 2 if you ramp. Probably just better. Yeah, like this one. Yeah, we'll just take that. I don't think we want Bayloth here, but this is actually one of the... We'll probably play one of these. Oh, the Green Sun Zenith did come back. That's pretty good. Wow, Garrick Alonis came back. So, like, we're probably the only green drafter at this table, which is sad that the Rafellos didn't come back, but I accept that. Stirring Wildwood comes back, making our decision easier. Maybe the Temple Garden or the Savannah will come back. And nothing good here. Mo 
Well, Genesis Wave came back, so that is now an option as well. All right, we're doing it. <coughs> Speak of the Devil. All right, so we got the Temple and the String Wildwood, which is pretty sweet. Well, there is a time walk here. I feel like it almost has to be time walk. There is no green card in this other than regrowth. And uh, being able to go natural or progenitus time walk seems pretty good. Huh. Yeah, we're just going to take the time walk. I mean, if we get, to, like, we can add one, one island and splash it off of Primeval Titan. There's also tons of ways we can get to. Uh, to splash it naturally. We, we saw a breeding pool, which we didn't take, but there could be a tropical island somewhere. It's also, the cost of taking this is so low compared to, like, regrowth. <clears throat> Lanor Elves seems pretty great. We don't actually have many one-mana guys. Beast Within is good, but I think we're fine with that. We already have Vivian Reed and uh, Manglehorn to take care of things like of that nature. There is a Lumbering Falls. <clears throat> also an Acidic Slime. Do we just play Lumbering Falls to splash the time walk? That's interesting. <sighs> I mean, my only concern with Acidic Slime is that we already have that effect in several. I mean, it doesn't kill lands, but it does kill, like, Vivian Reed also gives her enchantments and artifacts, Manglehorn gives her artifacts. Actually, we're probably not playing Ramiap Excavator. We can get rid of that guy. I almost just want this to get the time walk. It's a time walk after all. And if the regrowth tables, then it's just like... Oh, Metamorphose is actually not bad either. But eh, my problem with Metamorphose is that... I want to take Lumbering Falls. <clears throat> oh, Eternal Witness is basically just regrowth. Ulamog the Infinite Giant. That's just the worst Ulamog. I mean, Annihilator is pretty good, though. Let's not be... Thank you. Like we can also just not play <clears throat> Marari's Wake. Thunair, thank you so much for the for the reset. Welcome back. Six months later, really appreciate it. You are the you are the real MVP. It's either Eternal Witness or Wall of Roots. I think it's actually Eternal Witness. Like we can get back Channel. We can get back Manglehorn. Fast Bond. I'm not in love with Fast Bond. The problem being that like if the lands aren't in your hand, you're just like, eh. Oh, cool. I have two lands in hand. I'll just play both of them. Here we go. I think it's actually Thrag Tusk. We don't have any life gain effects, so it's nice if we can come up against the red deck to have something like Thrag Tusk. Kozilek. I do like a Kozilek. We're also at 21 cards. We have a, a, quite a few cards that we can play. I think we can put the Time Walk in the deck. Tribelder is also good. Annihilator 4 is a lot. The problem with Kozilek is that it's not indestructible, so you can just play it, you draw 4. And then they just kill it with like a go for the throat. I'm gonna take the Sakura Tribe Builder. Not not to be confused with Steve, because there's no V or E in its name, but I will take it. Because you guys are monsters and you make up names. I'm gonna take Deranged Hermit because there's nothing else in this pack that I care about. <clears throat> well, we're definitely not an Oath of Druids deck. I like Knight of Autumn though. Again, it's a similar situation with Manglehorn or Vivian Reed, and it does kill enchantments, so. That's actually not bad if we end up going white as well. Maybe we're three colors. I don't think we're three colors. Shardless Agent is not terrible. We don't have any counter spells. So if we are blue, I'll take the Shardless Agent. No, no. Yeah, Kitchen Finks is good. We actually have quite a few... Wow, the Acidic Slime comes back. We have quite a few decisions to make here. We're probably cutting one of the swords. Probably Feast and Famine. Thank you. Kelsier, thanks so much for the sub. Welcome back. Six months in a row. Passed all my classes this semester. Thanks for keeping me company in the wee hours of the night. Hey, glad I could help, buddy. Glad I could help. <clears throat> it's 
the least I could do. Natural order, not the best here. Really, even if you natural order for like a primeval titan or a progenitus, or even like just getting an acidic slime out of the deck or a virtuous gear hook seems pretty good. Feast is fine with ramp. The problem is that we don't have a ton of things to play in one turn. You know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? Like, if we have five mana, we can't go acidic slime, attack, untap. We can't kind of equip. I mean, it's it's fine. Sort of body of mine is just good for winning the game. Like, I just like winning the game. Also, Restoration Angel is pretty strong here. Blink Acidic Slime, Blink Gear Hulk, Blink Primeval Titan, Blink Eternal Witness, Manglehorn. Actually, it might just be worth playing the white for that. That's pretty insane. I wish we did have, like, something like a Sylvan Advocate. Or, uh, Sylvan Dryad. Sylvan. What the hell's that thing called? Sylvan Carry Added. <laughs> uh, we're taking the Genesis Wave out. And this could be our 23. So, what are the cards that are good with uh, with Resto? God, it's basically all of them. So these five, they're pretty good. Wait, what command did I add earlier? I thought I added. I thought I removed the stiff command. Are the commands case sensitive? Weird. I didn't know the commands were case sensitive. I don't know what that noise was either. Cut the time walk. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I can't tell if you're saying it because it's a joke. Or because it's that bad. If you're like, this is so bad that you're being this greedy. I can't tell. It could, it could literally, with Magic players, it could literally go either way. <clears throat> it's a joke. Yeah, I figured it was. I mean, it's, which is too easy to splash. We have Lumbering Falls. We have Sakura Tri Builder. We have Primeval Titan. And, like, Primeval Titan's a six drop, but it doesn't really matter with Time Walk. Um, because you can just play it at any point and it's still good we also have uh eternal witness to get back the time walk our white for the sideboard is actually very very good like marari's wake and night of autumn are pretty nice this could be our just this could, could be our 23 right here nothing else really stands out i mean like the white is an easy splash i agree um the problem is like we already have a pretty good base. I mean, if we can just get Progenitus like, <laughs> one time, I'm going to be pretty okay with it. I think this is actually the deck. We just play you, and you, and then a bunch of... Actually, we'll play one, obviously. Nope. Nope. Like, they're trying to, like, here's here's one of each for Progenitus, but I'm like, that doesn't even cast that. 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, this seems good. So we have one, two, three, basically four sources of of, of blue, and we also have Fauna Shaman, which can get a Sakura Tri Builder, which can get an island if we really need that. And only two of our lands can't cast a channel on turn two, so. Alright. This deck could be extremely greedy. We'll find out. I like being able to go Green Sun Zenith into Fauna Shaman to discard Progenitus. <clears throat> if we need to do that. I will play first. <clears throat> um, <laughs> yeah, Welp, there it is. We should keep track of all the games that we have um, Progenitus in our hand. 
Do Silb, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate the support. Uh, God, tree speaker is very good. I'm gonna keep it just because of the tree speaker. Like, so we have to mulligan into a hand that looks better than this, and I don't know how likely that is. We can also just channel into this guy. We can't channel into this guy. Uh, we can also get a phono shot. <laughs> Medium fan. <laughs> I'm like, well, now I don't auto lose at least. Good times, good times. Oh, the aggressive deck, eh? Ew. <clears throat> well then. Um, we're not gonna block, so let's actually make this a Because if we can get this to a one four, it's actually pretty decent. Don't play an Eidolon of the Great Revel. Oh, you can play anything. This is great news. What can we do here? One, two, three, four, five. So we can go channel for two. Play sword, equip sword. Ah, but then we can't like we can't actually attack this turn. I mean it's worth channeling a primeval titan here. We take five. Otherwise, we just take two. I mean, they could also kill this in response, but if they had a way to kill this, they probably would have done it, right? They're not going to give us free mana. So, one, two, channel. One, two, three. Actually, we only take three to channel out of Primeval Titan. That seems better. I don't want to take three more to put, to put Sword out. Against the red deck. Uh, one, two, three, four. Pay one, pay one, pay one. <clears throat> I mean, I'll take three to play a Primeval Titan. That seems fine. Uh, I don't foresee us librarying here, so I'm just going to take the lands. I guess I should have gotten an island just to be able to activate the Lumbering Falls, but um, I don't want to go 12... We can just cast this and equip it next turn. So, that seems better to me. What's your favorite Limp Biscuit song? Zombub. That's a great question. I think. Um, I don't actually know. I would have known in high school because I was actually a, an avid Limp Biscuit fan in high school, which is not something I should be telling you guys, realistically. I feel like this is probably going to take over the game here. Oh, all right, that'll do. <laughs> the 8-8 eight, eight trampling primeval titan uh, that makes a 2-2 two, two and also mills them is, is, is enough. That's enough. So, um, a red deck, eh? Thrag Tusk we can bring in. Kitchen Finks we can bring in. Uh, Knight of Autumn is probably good here. So we can actually take out Time Walk, take out Lumbering Falls, take out the Island, bring these two in. Add this one, take out one more. This is 42, so we're going to take out... I mean, even Natural Ring for Thrag Tusk at this point is pretty good because it can give us just another way to... Um, to gain that. Uh, we can actually take out Manglehorn because we brought in Knight. And we can probably take out Acidic Slime. It seems a little too slow for what we're trying to do. Resto could be good too. <clears throat> but yeah, Thrag, Thrag uh, Finks and Knight of Autumn. Um... I think this is a keepable hand. 
Um, we're on the draw, so we can actually play library, draw a card. The problem is we also have channel in hand, so it's... Hmm. I don't think we're channeling, so I'm actually just going to play this and draw another card. I think the ability to find a Kitchen Finks or something is a little higher than paying all our life and channeling here. White mana as well, eh? Fish lamp clock. Thank you for the uh, the flu the flu shot public service message. Probably a solid idea. I think a lot of places offer free flu shots as well. Is that true? Am I just making that up? See, now we don't have a two drop, so we have to discard something. Probably gonna discard a Shut land up, here. Take my money. Jojo MKE, what's going on? Welcome back. Thank you so much for the. Okay, so green red draft. Try to have four to five L's for Santa's helpers. Extra spice splash for either an angel or a frost titan. Okay, so basically a Christmas themed uh, stipulation. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, as always. I remember our angel themed uh, draft, which was super sweet, uh, went surprisingly well. Let's draw a card here. Oh, all right. So now we're going to play a card, and we're going to gain some life. As long as they don't have skull crack, I think this is probably pretty good. This is pretty good. Don't counter. Don't mana tide this. I will be so mad. I would cry. I would cry. Oh, real. that's so immature. You're like a child. That's... I mean, that's still fine. We can still block all their things. So, And we gained four there? Oh, God. We are basically just living the life here. Oh, also, if we go Virtuous Gearhulk onto Kitchen Finks, it can persist again. Channel and Library is really awkward. Um, definitely just going to block here. I don't need this dude to make you any more friends. Oh, my God. Are you going to you're gonna char my face? You're being really aggressive right now. I don't approve of it. So if we can survive till next turn, I think we're okay. Let's... Oh, we actually should have played this, because then if we draw, like, Knight of Autumn, we can play it. I don't think we're super worried about it, though. We are going to draw, because if we don't... Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a solid dude. All right, so we're just going to block. We're going to take two here. And then we're gonna play Thrag Tusk, which should be very, very good. I mean, we could just kill a one-one, but ain't nobody got time for that. I might have to sneak. <coughs> Nathan Holt, that's for you, buddy, in the comments of the YouTube. I'll block you. All right, let's see what's happening here. Just mono forests. Forests all the way down. That's a good card. I am not uh I'm not thrilled about that. Okay, so we have eight cards, we play a land, draw a card. Or we can just play like Primeval Titan. Is that good? We're gonna take two, three, four. Now we actually need the life here. Let's draw. Oh, Thrag Tusk. Or a primeval, actually, natural order is very, very good here because we can get uh, Knight of the Autumn. I couldn't think of when that knight was. We could also find a way to discard this progenitus. Like, draw with library, don't actually play a card, a follow up card, and then discard this, but that's like two turns behind. Night of Midsummer. Oh, uh, Night of... You know, I can't think of any... This is just rude. Oh, my God. And that deals four to me? No, three to me. All right, well... We tried. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can't even... Eternal wit... Oh, my God. What is happening? We're feeling very bad about these things. 
Do we just have a way to win on the spot? Like, we boarded in three life gain cards, and... Oh, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. So, if we play channel here... We have five, six, seven. We're one shy of this. That's so comical. So, if we go one, two for channel, we have one, two, three, four, five. So, we have to play three, and then we can negative four to get rid of everything, but then we're at three. But... What are the odds they have something that deals just deals three that we can't get rid of with an Ugin? Like, it has to be like a literal burn spell. This also puts us out of range of library if we do it. So, like, once we do this, like, we'd have to go channel Ugin. We go down to five cards, and the odds of us actually ever activating library again are gone. But right now, if we go to eight, we can play channel and Ugin, go to six, and then next turn we'll draw our seventh card. So we can still have library online if we draw a card this turn, but that puts us to two instead of three. So there's really a lot of things to, to consider here. This is actually not a super easy turn. <laughs> um, the problem is if there is like a li uh, an Eternal Witness on the top of our deck, we can Eternal Witness back like Kitchen Finks and then play that and gain two life, go to seven, and then probably kill them. When the last time you played Mono Red? Literally yesterday. Um, yeah. Chandra is already going to put us to two, right? So, like, automatically this on board puts us to two. So, <clears throat> that's good enough for me to channel here. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, we have to go to two. Oh, God, I forgot about that. It's actually worse than I thought. So if we activate this, we go one, two, three, four, and then four, and we go to one instead. Uh, I actually went two, one with the with the red deck, I believe. I don't think it was three, oh. And I think we went two, one, three times yesterday. Ugh, this is so bad. I'm not thrilled about this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, all right, sure. One, two, negative four. All right. Burst lightning is in their yard. That is one of them. Here's just like five mana. Thunder my Hellkite. Lightning bolt. Chain lightning. Come on. Don't do it. Don't slow roll it at least. Just kill me. Just end my life. Hellrider? Okay, well. I hope they target the wrong one. Oh god. They did not target the wrong one. Okay, well. That'll do. We tried. Okay, so. They don't have any artifacts, so. Vivian Reed can probably come out. I think Resto is probably better. Just being able to blink one of those one of those dudes is pretty strong. Um Yeah, seems fine. Um, we can keep this. We can get, like, a Draga Tree Speaker or something. This is not terrible. We can also just save it for, like, a Kitchen Finks or a Night of Autumn. All right. It's not the fastest hand. It's not the most exciting hand. I don't even know if Sword is great in this matchup, to be honest with you. They've had Zergo every game so far. Let's see if that trend holds. Ooh, no Zergo. Yeah, now we're just playing this. I just played against Mono Red. I don't see the point. You don't see the point of what? That's a, weird, take my money. that's a weird thing to say. Love watching Cube. Have a draft. Haji Gulashi. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Let me make sure I don't miss this Jojo MKE stipulation because that would be sad. And I'll put it in the queue. Let's 
Uh, all right. Well, this is actually a lot of mana. Oh, where's the channel when you need it? What are we getting with the green sun zenith here? One, two, three, four, five. We could just harmonize here. I think it's actually harmonized because next turn we can. Oh. I see. Because next turn we can actually green sun zenith one, two, three, four, five, six for a thrag tusk. But we're also at 20 here, so I think we're okay. Oh, this feels. This feels like a thing. This feels like a thing. I have no idea, though. Wow, that's aggressive. It feels like less of a thing now. That's unfortunate. It's not terrible. Uh, we can still actually Green Sun Zenith for... Actually, Green Sun Zenith for Kitchen Finks when we have Natural Order seems pretty insane. Uh, let's just not draw the Progenitus. How about that? I feel like we're actually uh, in pretty okay shape here. All right. Um, gain two more. I think this is probably going to be the end. Let's get this guy. <laughs> oh, we have a good time. Yeah, I'm not really... We're, we're at 24 and they have five counters. I'm not super worried about the shrine here. <sighs> I'm about to bust. Well, that ain't gonna do it. <clears throat> is that a famed promo GP card progenitus? It is. It is actually. All right, guess we're taking four. Oh, Kitchen Finks, dang. You had such a long life to live. You had so many things. I like that we can't actually equip this dude with uh with the sword because it's like no no protection from everything you understand hmm uh i guess we're just going to attack you and can you deal you have six seven eight nine ten oh this guy's not untapping so yeah unless you can deal ten i think we're probably okay here we can also block something so yeah i'm, I'm pretty confident here that they can't deal an extra ten because this is this is ten right here So unless you literally, I mean, you only have three red, right? So if every red spell costs, dealt three damage and cost at least one red, um, then you're still, actually that would, eh, no, this is only dealing one, one extra point. Cause then you'd have to like, you have to be like chain lightning. This costs three to activate, right? Yeah. So they can't actually activate it this turn unless they go untap mountain. Don't actually attack. So we're actually going to throw a resto out and then we're just probably going to kill you. Protection from possibly poisoned weapons. That's actually a yeah. That's a good. That's a smart move. I had not considered that. It's too bad we can't blink our our progenitus. But again, protection from everything. So we're gonna go to thirteen, and I'm gonna assume you don't have a white or red removal spell for this resto angel. 
I mean, if if they had an extra turn, I think we'd actually be in bad shape because this is going to be ten by itself or nine by itself. I think this resto is probably going to give us the uh, the edge here. Oh, we can also attack with Stirring Wildwood to make sure. Yeah, that's actually good. Yeah, just to make sure, because if, if if one of these gets through, then then we're definitely because if they have like condemn or swords or path or something. All right. <laughs> well, that's not gonna do it. I appreciate the effort, though. Good games. So we got to progenitus natural order, and that's really all I want to do with my life. Progenitus is not protected from God and his wrath. However, it does get shuffled back in. So it never really, it's never, it's never, it's like the, uh, it's like the Greyjoys say, uh, that, that which is dead can never die. So, a little Game of Thrones meme for you there. So he's just, it's just, he's, he's just a, it's just a temporary setback. Progenitus is not protected from being bounced by an actual thing. Oh, yeah, a literal thing. Yeah, that's a good point. Are we talking about uh, Ben Grimm of the Fantastic Four, that thing? That might be my favorite thing. This is a slow hand, but presumably we're not going to play against a second red deck, so maybe we got some time. We can also discard Primeval Titan to get a Sakura Tribe Elder, which is basically like... Uh, a lower form of primeval titan it's just basically his his less evolved form okay so this is actually great because next turn we can play no we can't god i'm such a we can play actually we can play gear hulk and make this dude real big what can we get? Is there anything better to get? I don't think so, right? This is also nice because if we draw channel, we can actually get uh, an, an, Ul an Emer Ulamog. <laughs> wow, I think I pretty much just had a stroke. Emer, Ula Emer Ulamog. An Emramog, if you will. Wow, that's just rude. What kind of... What kind of game are you running here, little strumpa? <laughs> that is your real name. Doubt it. Doubt it's your real name. <sighs> well, that's awkward. So I'm probably gonna put like a counter on this guy just to just to let him live a little bit longer, and then make this dude huge. Is it 2-2 two, two maybe? No, 7-7 seven, seven seems good. Because it gets around things like Primeval Titan. So. Okay. Doesn't get around Eternal Witness Maelstrom Pulse, I guess. We have a good time. So this is two games where we've drawn two two games, I guess, out of four. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you got it, Carnage Tyrant. That's a dude. That's a hell of a dude. All right, Manglehorn's probably coming out at this juncture. I have literally no idea how I'm gonna deal with a Carnage Tyrant. I guess Primeval Titan next turn blocks it. Yeah, all of their cards are pretty underwhelming other than this Carnage Tyrant, so I think we're going to try to... Actually, it doesn't block it because of the stupid Noble Hierarch. So this is going to be... 
This is an awkward situation at at best. Huh. Well, that sure is a thing. Are we dead if we... No, we're not dead. We can always block with the Wall of Roots if we really have to. Oh, also, next turn, can we go, like, infinite? We can go one, two, three, one, two. We can... Oh, this is going to be... If we get... If we survive... Oh, this is going to be... If we don't die next turn, we get to go Primal Titan equip, attack, time walk, attack. Oh, don't get a second color. All right. They're just going to Crater Hoof us and kill us, though. So I'm not... Here we go. They never don't have it. It's, <laughs> it's staggering to me. Actual staggering to me. Oh my god. I'm cringing so hard right now. It's unbelievable. You know, unless of course they have Craterhoof Behemoth. What is that you say? You have Craterhoof Behemoth? Do tell. We have a good time. Magic the Gathering. You're a, you're a real game. <laughs> Have you considered not calling it? Um, no. The important part is you knew that it was going to happen. Yeah, that is the important part. Maybe Charlotte's Agent is decent here. Uh, I don't love Manglehorn. It didn't seem like they have nearly enough targets. Uh, Excavator doesn't seem great. Jeez. I mean, Wake, like, for our deck, by the time we hit Wake, we're already, we already have enough mana, really. It doesn't help us cast Progenitus. It only helps us cast, like, two cards in our deck. So, I'm not thrilled about Wake. We're also not going wide. Like, we're not playing, like, Deranged Hermit. So, like, making all the dudes 1-1s. One I mean, it's not terrible. It's not a bad card by any means. Maybe Shardless Agent is fine, especially because we do have a bunch of cards that... Yeah, all right, we'll try Shardless Agent. Also, two pro green swords is pretty strong here. I will play first. You know what? I'm going to keep it. It's a risky keep, but we also have Sword, Time Walk, and Wall of Roots. So we actually have... If we draw a land here, it's just... We basically can't lose, I'm pretty sure. We're about to go infinite. Famous last words. That is true. They were famous, and they were definitely my last words. Oh boy, we're good at this game. Cause so if we hit a land next turn, we can go one, two, three, this, this, equip the sword, and start just going to town. They do have Maelstrom Pulse, worth keeping in mind, but four hundred bits, Mr. Crispy, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Good games. Good games. That is a land. That will do it, pig. That will do it, pig? That'll do, pig. That'll do, pig. All right. Nope. Got to actually remove this first because it doesn't it doesn't recognize it as a mana ability. Well, this seems pretty solid. Unless you have, like, path or swords and you're just going to be like, oh, kill it. And be like, mm, that's unfortunate. What do we get here? Plow under. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't actually know that this was added to the vintage cube. I guess they saw how ridiculous it was in the regular cube and they're like, Let's just put it in the vintage cube too. All right, Maelstrom Pulse is definitely coming down here. We got rid of Eternal Witness. Uh, everything else was just ramp though. I'm not super excited about the other cards. Yeah, that'll do Pig is from Babe. Yep. Not, to the surprise of no one. We got some good uh, good, good blue cards in the hand. Just just waiting to cast them. <laughs> okay. Well, that's, that's something right there, isn't it? You don't mind if I get this back, do you? Okay. <laughs> scoop to... All right. Scoop to the Eternal Witness getting back the Pro Green Sword. Seems good. Hmm. 
Assembler. I have this I have this Bleacher song stuck in my head. And I want to mind, but I really don't, because Bleachers is a good band. Um, We could just bring in the other sword, to be quite honest. Actually, it's probably good enough. I'm just going to play 41. We actually have 17 lands and a lot of ramps, so I'm not even super concerned. I ain't even worried about it. We don't have multiple islands, because we don't really want to worry about um, not hitting channel on turn 2. Elkatears, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure, good sir. Oh, it's a little Willy. Would you ever consider doing some social media posts about your art figures? Um, yeah, I would actually love to. I don't know how much interest there would be, though. That's my only issue. So we can either get the second blue here to make sure we can activate Lumbering Falls at some point in time, or... Or we can just get a green. The problem is we don't have a four drop, so I'm actually tempted to just get an attack in with this guy. And we can actually maybe just keep it up. We yeah, we can go play this. Following turn, equip it, untap our land. We can actually, with the trigger on the stack, we can sack tribe builder so we can get five lands. Yeah, we're going to try to do that. Oh, boy. I'm going to play this one because I like the effect. Oh, no, it's the wrong one. That's the whole point of playing the other one was to untap our lands. Eh, it doesn't matter. It's if we connect with it, it's fine. I mean, that was that was definitely a misplay on my part. We're like, yeah, we can untap our lands. We can get five mana. We can acidic slime. We can do all the things. Eh, it doesn't matter anyway. All right, now we're just going to crack this guy. Now we're going to get a second blue because we have no reason not to. BFC, thank you so much for the, for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Eight months. Our first sub baby is kicking. That's good times. We have a good time. Yeah, we're just going to Acidic Slime your non... Uh, yeah, that one. Oh, next turn we can Sword and Equip. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Metzger, thanks so much for the for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. They get like island swamp. No, two forests. All right. Well, all right. One, two, three. This guy. One, two. This guy. Yeah, this seems good. Hey, Frank, long time YouTube watcher, a first, more like Frank Lissonor. Wow. First time stream viewer, I was finally pushed to hop on and say what I've been thinking for a long time. You constantly condescend to your fans and they agree with you or say something you disagree or agree with. To me, as a viewer, I find this off putting along with the way you always say you want to just play some magic and the game won't allow. When your land drops are get flooded, what you seem to miss, which is quite shocking, is that, okay. I guess I'm going to. I mean, you could have just messaged this to me. I don't know why you had to do it on, on a stream, but all right. Uh, the problem, I didn't play this because if we, we can't put the counters on this guy, so just rather have multiple creatures to put counters on, especially because this uh, can get us a lot of mana. Plow under. Uh, it's unfortunate. Three. Four. Activate this, so now it cannot be targeted. So you're plow under one thing. That seems good for us. All right, well. Yeah, I don't understand the point. Like, you're going to call me condescending, but then you're going to make a name that's literally just a, an insult, and then... Like, <laughs> I don't understand, I guess. Um, two, three, four, five. And then, like, you're going to choose to do it on, like, the actual stream. 
which is a pretty public forum, instead of just messaging me, hey man, this is this is a thought I had, and then I'd be like, oh cool, I'm yeah, I'm sorry you feel that way. That's definitely not my intention. I didn't mean to insult anyone. I'm actually, I feel like I'm pretty reasonable at that, but um, I don't know. A weird battle to ride your high horse into, I guess. And I, actually, the funny thing I started reading is if it was like a hey, a nice, a nice like, hey man, I was a long, I'm a long time YouTuber. I really appreciate that. Mm, but no, all right. <sighs> Pernicious dude, they can't all be winners, buddy. They can't all be winners. I appreciate the effort. To me, as a viewer, I find this very off-putting, which is funny because, like, I mean, you don't have to watch the content. Like, I mean, I appreciate everyone who does. Literally, I think that's very clear. I think it's extremely abundant that when someone, like, watches my stuff, I'm extremely appreciated and grateful for everybody. Jimmy, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Seven months in a row. Really, really appreciate it, as I was saying. And it's just like, I mean, if that's something about me as a person, as of my character that you don't like, you. you're welcome to just watch someone else. Like, it's not... This isn't content you're paying for that you're being forced to pay for by the government and you're voting to change it. Like, this is the content I produce. I think I'm open to criticism. And uh, if there is a thing you don't like about me, then, I mean, you know, if it's if it's a really abrasive thing that's, hurt, that's hurting people's feelings regularly, I'll understand it. I'll be like, okay, I'll definitely try to change that. But, I mean, if you're just going to be like, I don't like the way you feel about this certain thing, I'm like, well... If it's that off-putting, then you're gonna make a, a an account, a, a brand new Twitch account with a insulting name. Like, okay, it's a it's a weird flex, but okay. What's up, Reeves? Oh, it's perfect. Perfect. God, it's like they knew. Can we just get a Ulamog? No, I guess we guess we can't. I guess we're too good. That's too good for us. Wow. Well, I mean, it's kind of the same thing, right? They missed a land drop now. I have to sneeze now. <coughs> God, it's two in one stream. Unbelievable. Money. One weird flex book. <laughs> oh, Kerwit, you're the hero we need. You're the hero we need. And notice, if you will, like I didn't ban this person. I didn't time this person out. Like I took no, I took no retaliatory actions against this person. It's totally fine. Oh, a time walk, eh? Oh God, if we can get like channel into like Ulamog. Oh, we have Fauna Shaman. Long time YouTube watcher and many times streamer, I often push to hump on and say what I've been thinking for a long time. You constantly have fun with your friends when you agree with you or say something you dislike or disagree with. To me, as a viewer, I find this fan very fantastic, along with the way you always say you want to just play some magic and the games won't allow you when you miss land drops or get flooded. What you seem to miss, which is quite shocking to me, is that far. <laughs> oh, Ajgulashi. You are also the hero we need. What is going on here? Azari Signet, Girl Signet, Mountains and Islands. I don't... I'm so confused. Ban them, I paid for blood. Did you pay for blood? I don't really see any indication of payment, I'll be honest with you. Ulamog, Ulamog, Ulamog. Are you going to Vendillion click me? Wow, that's rude. Oh, Pestermite? Yeah, I don't care about all that. We can still Ulamog. We got four mana. Ulamog. Ulamog, I said. I said Ulamog. That's a forest. I know it's confusing. It's not similar. God, I hope they don't Kiki Jiki kill me next turn. Actually, we should. We messed up. We could have went Time Walk this turn. Next turn. I meant to play the island. 
That was dumb. I'm bad at magic. I'm just really hoping they don't kill us this turn. If they kill us, it's we we gave it away. Shut up and take my money. John Freeman, CX in the chat. I don't know what that what does that mean? Oh, BFC. I got gotcha. you. Shut up and take my money. Oh, they're in our upkeep. They're gonna go get the uh One blood buck. I got you, Doug. Wow. Yep, there's a Splinter Twin. We're having a good time. What are the odds they don't have a fourth land, though? Huh? Oh, they had it. That's sad. Yeah, this would have been... Yeah, we could have actually won this game. I'm pretty sure. We could have actually went time walk this turn if we played the island. Uh, next turn, we go channel, search for Ulamog, play Ulamog, and then kill them. Yep. Oh, we just gave that game away. I'm very sad about my life choices. Okay. So that being the case, do we have any way to deal with that? Huh. Well. Hmm. So, did they just never finish their message? That's super weird. They just never finished their message and, like, they're not in the chat anymore? I don't even understand what the point of that was. <laughs> I also had someone on YouTube who was like, do you guys watch the the modern, the red, uh, the modern red deck yesterday? They left me a comment. And it was pretty hilarious. Like... I couldn't actually... I'm not even going to go into it now. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not even worth it. But, like... It was just a matter of, like... They said I ruined the whole draft. They're like, didn't someone pay you for this stipulation? Because I took a Rakdos's return as my 33rd pick when there was a, another red card in the pack because it wasn't mono red card. And even though the stipulation says, you know, red cards are the priority, but you can take a second or third color as long as the pips are red. And I was like, okay, well, Rakdos return is red. So I took it. And it was like the 33rd pick, and they're like, they just got on this, like, I was like, this is a weird hill to die on, man. We're like, it's a stipulation. It's meant to be fun. We're having a good time. If the the if the the, the person who supplied the stipulation uh, isn't satisfied with it, I, I'll, I'll, I'm more than willing to refund the, the donation or the support. Um... But it's a really weird thing to be that critical over a stipulation, like, because I took, I didn't even play the Rakdos's return. Did I? Yeah, maybe, yeah, I did. But, like, it, it still didn't really violate the rules. And like one of the best things I love about my like the community in the chat that that felt that that supports my stream. Is that um everyone is actually super farts are funny. <laughs> no one's disagreeing with farts being funny, okay? That's not no one's here being like, oh, farts aren't funny. This is a fart funny stream. That's not... One of the things I love about my chat is that you guys are actually awesome and uh, super supportive. And, like, it's not... You don't get those those shitty people who are like, why didn't you do this? You're terrible at this. Like, it's actually... I feel like we actually purge all the shitty people, which is great. And uh, it's nice being in my 30s and still appreciating farts. Like, that's actually a cool thing to me. Like, Hunter farts sometimes when he's just sitting there and I'm just like... <laughs> That's funny. He's a dog and he's farting. He has no idea. He's looking at us. He looks at his butt after he farts. And I'm just like, you don't know. No, oh, are we dead? No. Okay. If you make a Frank LaFarts name, please don't use an A. Use an E as that is how my last name is spelled. Otherwise, on point, Hodge Galashi. <sighs> <laughs> Frank 
Frank LaFarts with an E at the end of Frank is actually pretty hilarious. Oh, Jesus. God, you discarded two lands to Thirst and you still have seven cards? Crying out loud. What's even happening right now? It's not like you didn't play. Like, you won the game and you played a Lightning Greaves that I killed, so I'm not really sure how you have this many cards. You're clearly cheating. Fancy Bread, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Fartled is like the perfect, oh my god, it's startled by a fart. That's actually amazing. You are the hero we need. I think we're killing this Spire Bluff Canal. Look at all these artifact things that we have. They also have a million signets. You gonna daze this? I mean, you wanna daze it, it's fine, sure. Knock yourself out. I'm not gonna wait till turn six. Frankel farts. <laughs> I don't want to talk to any of you anymore. It's, it's funny how, like, I just went from complimenting everyone to uh, literally disowning all of you. I'm at this as well, and I'm so jealous how gray you are. You're jealous? The other day I found a gray in my beard, and I felt like I pulled Chase Mythic from a pack. <laughs> oh, dear lord. Well, you know, that's you gotta do what you gotta do. Um... If they have it, we're just dead, right? How vintage cubing trading you Frank and the Barbaba boost. That was that was not your finest moment, buddy. By the way, I will have a new stip for you. I do not receive your address. Oh my god, Casper, I'm so sorry, dude. I totally forgot. But I just wanted to add a stip to it. I will delay the sending of the French box and if you're okay with my stip idea. Okay, sweet, 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 sweet. I'm so sorry about that, dude. Oh my god, I can't stop laughing. This is great. This is going very well. We're all we're all having a good time. I mean, do we just get progenitus here? We have to, right? And we have to, like, put them put their feet to the fire to have it in two turns, I guess. I don't know, man. Don't mana leak this, because, God, it's so bad if you counter this. They have five cards. You might as well have 30 cards. I mean, we only lose a Manglehorn. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Frogler with resub. At least your hair isn't turning red for no apparent reason. My beard is... Um, okay, so the thing about red hairs, um, what I've learned, could be true, could be uh, fiction, I don't know, is that when hairs turn red, that is the follicle dying. Um, or the... Maybe not the follicle. Maybe that's not the word I'm looking for. Either way, it's it, it means usually red is the, the, the transition to gray. So you'll have a bunch of red hairs that will soon turn gray. Uh, the pigment, maybe, is what I'm looking for. So when your hair just randomly turns red, it's usually on its way to uh, to gray. It's right in the middle. All right. Well, I think we're dead here. I don't like. I feel like we threw game one away, which is unfortunate. But well, because I was the same way. Like I was like, why are my my beard hairs are like I have like these red beard hairs, and uh, I don't have them anymore, as you may notice. Are we dead? Probably dead. I'm going to tap your lumbering falls. Okay. Frankel farts is a fart scientist. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go again. Ready? Every game. Two games in a row. I would love a channel. I have one channel in my deck. Can I get that? I guess not. That's fine. Sometimes you lose a Splinter Twin. Sometimes you lose to your own mistakes. Throwing, throwing games away. Oh, that was game. That was round three? I thought it was around two. Wow, this draft was quick. An hour and nine minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm definitely not leaving. I will def or watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just gonna go do things. But if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. Links are in the description below. If you want to support, you can do that for like a buck a month. It's super cheap. It costs you like nothing. A dollar a month? That's like not even. You can't even get a cheeseburger for a dollar at McDonald's. I don't know. That's not true. Maybe it's true. Or you can check out meundies.com. Backslash Frank Lepore. Back to meandies.com slash Frank Lepore. I don't know. Backslash forward slash. I don't even know. Just going to say slash. Slash Frank Lepore. And you get 15% off and free shipping and free returns if you follow the affiliate link. And then I get a kickback too. So you win, I win, and then you get something sweet anyway. I think they still have Star Wars underwear, which is really cool. And they're super comfortable. And they sent me this new pair, which is really nice. So it, it, they're very soft. Extremely soft. 100 I paid for blood bits. Doug, appreciate it. I'm glad you can finally get those blood bits in. 
And finally, check out Aaron Kane. Uh, his custom deck boxes are insane. If you're looking for cube decks, if you're looking for or deck boxes, rather, if you're looking for commander deck boxes, if you're looking for standard deck boxes, dice boxes, whatever. All his work is extremely high quality. He makes all the stuff himself. He has 40 different types of wood you can choose from. And if you get something from his store, you get 10% off with promo code Frank. So be sure to check that out. Link is in the description below. You can find it on Twitch or on YouTube. Even if you don't want to buy anything, you should definitely check it out because it's just a work. They're, they're works of art. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. I guess that's it.